Corporation, or PIC, has loaned ESCOM 5 billion rand to keep the lights on for a month. ESCOM is facing a huge debt and cash crisis, and the loan will fund the company's operations for February. The Public Investment Corporation, or the PIC, manages the pensions of public servants on behalf of the government's employees' pension fund. It says that it's advanced the loan on behalf of the GEPF, and both the GEPF and the PIC uh, board take comfort from the fact that the bridging finance is backed by government. It also says that they're encouraged by recent developments at ESCOM. Whilst ESCOM has a lifeline for now, it's looking at longer-term solutions to deal with its debt burden. It's uh, now closer to 370 billion rand. One of the options is asking its creditors, possibly even the PIC, to rather take an equity stake in the power utility. Well, economists say ESCOM could turn around uh, if uh, this is happens. Uh, it's technically known as converting debt to equity. Board Chairman Jabu Mabuzo says ESCOM needs to restructure its debt by converting their debt to equity. Key state institutions such as the Public Investment Corporation, the Industrial Development Corporation and the Development Bank of South Africa will be approached to either convert their debt to equity or acquire shares in ESCOM. Until the end of September, municipalities across the nation were owing ESCOM just over 12.4 billion rand. Right now, as I speak to you, at the end of December, that debt had escalated to 13 billion rand. So clearly there's a problem there. And the same municipalities that are owing ESCOM are the same ones that the Minister of Water Affairs uh, had previously indicated that they were owing the water boards across the nation millions and, and billions and billions of money. So clearly there's a problem which goes beyond ESCOM. We need intervention from, uh, I would say, government as a whole, primarily from COPTA, and also support from SAUGA and other government institutions. Analysts say if ESCOM gets the much-needed cash injection, it would avoid the raiding of exhausted national coffers through another government bailout or the politically sensitive privatisation. What is probably going to happen in the short term is that the money will come from the taxpayer. Uh, we're probably going to see something in a budget where the Minister of Finance is going to simply give ESCOM another couple of tens of billions of rands because the alternative is just an ESCOM that's going to go down the tubes. I, I suspect with uh, uh, transferring these huge amounts of money to ESCOM, with the financial problems of the fiscus itself, we're probably going to see another downgrade as well. So that's what, what's going to happen in the short term. Eskom's liquid assets dwindled to 9 billion rand at the end of year September from 30 billion rand the previous year. Cash generations from operations plummeted by 10 billion rand due to low profits and a jump in municipal area debt from 9 billion rand to 12 billion rand. Total outstanding debt stands at more than 19 billion rand. The 5.5% tariff hike granted by NERSA for the current financial year started in April was a key contributor to doubts about ESCOM's going concern status. However, interim CEO Pagamani Hadebe says it is a priority of the new management to work with NERSA to find a solution to the future price path.